everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at how to add the meat processor production into the PC version of the Carpathian Countryside map by Mr. Hector. The Meat Factory is a secondary mod by Mr. Hector that was intended to be placed into the PC version of the map, but had to be excluded in order for the map to be included into the Giants Mod Hub. But before that, this video is brought to you by Darren Cassell and Jeff Scott. Thank you for being Farm Barons. Now some general disclaimers and background information. This video is going to show you how to edit the files included in the map. Doing so will result in the game telling you that the map is out of date and will present you an option to update the map via the in-game mod hub. Do not update the map because doing so will wipe out all of the changes that you are about to make. In the event that this map is actually updated by Mr. Hector, he will be posting information on his Facebook and YouTube pages as to what you may need to do or may not need to do to progress your changes into that new version of the map. While the changes that we are about to demonstrate are not difficult, it is imperative that you follow these directions exactly how you see them portrayed here in the video. Doing so otherwise will result in the map not working correctly. Now, while there are also countless ways of performing these tasks correctly, I have chosen this specific method as I feel it is the optimal for the average player. But if you do know of a better way of doing it or you prefer doing it a different way, then by all means, go ahead. I will be recommending the use of a secondary application called 7-Zip. It is perfectly safe to use and I will have a link to download that down in the description below. I will not be able to support any issues as a result of trying to make these changes in the comment section of this video. There are just countless variables that could go into play as to why something may or may not be working for you. If you do find that you do run into issues, all I can say is pull up the backup copy of your map and try again. Once again, working to complete these steps exactly how you're going to see them portrayed here. The first thing we need to do is download the Meat Factory add-on mod that can be found over at Mr. Hector's Google Drive. I've got that pulled up here. Link is down in the description below. When you get this page up, go ahead and come over here to this icon right here and click download. That is then going to download this file into your downloads directory. From our downloads folder, we're going to right click on the file we just downloaded, Carpathian Countryside. Meat Factory Unzip, and we're going to pick Extract All. And at that point, we are just going to hit Extract. It's going to say Show Extracted Files When Complete. Yes, that will be perfectly fine. And here we have the newly extracted files. We have a folder called Replace in Map Archive, and we have the actual add-on mod itself, which we now need to put into our mod folder. So to do that, we're going to right-click on the FS22 underscore Carpathian Countryside add-on Meat Factory mod. And we're going to say copy. We're then going to navigate to our mods folder, which is going to be on your profile under Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2022, Mods. We're going to right-click in there, and we're going to say paste. Now do this with the game closed. Now, the next step we want to do is we want to make a backup copy of the map itself. We do not want to edit the only copy of the map just in case we do make a mistake. We will have a clean copy to revert back to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my map itself, Carpathian Countryside. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say copy. Then I'm just going to click on my desktop, right click and paste. And that is then going to put a copy of that file onto my desktop. And that's where we're going to keep that. We are not going to touch that copy at all until we are completely done. Once we know everything works, then we'll go ahead and delete our copy. Now we need to modify the map itself. And we're going to use 7-Zip for that. So we're going to go to our map. We're going to right click. We're going to go to 7-Zip. And we're going to say Open Archive. From here, 
we're going to go to placeables. Then we're going to go to production point. And this is where we're going to come back now over to the folder where we extracted our add-on mod. Remember we had the replace in a map archive folder. Let's double click into that. We now have two XML files, M factory and M factory placeable. What we're going to do here is we're going to highlight these. We can simply drag up and highlight those, or we can click the first one, hold shift, click the second one. And we're going to drag those into our map archive placeables production point folder. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to copy our copy files to the archive? Yes. And once it has done, we are going to close the map. And now, well, now we can launch the game and see what we have. Now, when you're doing testing like this, be sure to start a brand new save game. That way you can be sure that you're not going to run into any sort of conflicts as a result of an ongoing save. So I'm starting up a brand new save game here on Carpathian Countryside, PC only. Be sure to also have now the new mod that we placed in our mod folder, the Meat Factory add-on checked. And we'll go ahead and load in. I'm gonna hit the tilde key to bring up the log. That way I can watch the map load in. If you have not enabled the dev console, strongly recommend enabling the dev console. I do have a video on how to do that in my playlist. That will also be linked down in the description below. And what we can do now is we can see the map load in. We can see if there's any problems, if there's any edits that we need to go back and correct because we didn't quite do something right. So far, everything looks swimmingly well. No problems here at all. Now, let me add some money real fast because we are going to need to buy a farm in order to get access to the meat factory. Meat factory is going to be located right here at this farm that is surrounded by field 32. So farmland 37. Let's go ahead and buy that. And now that we own that, we can teleport straight to the meat factory. Here we have our pallet spawn point. And if you can't go in the gate, well, you don't own the land. So again, be sure to buy the land. And we're also going to need to buy the meat factory itself. So we can do that here from this interactive icon. $120,000 will get us that. And now we can go into our meat factory production menu. We're going to see that we can bring unprocessed beef, pork, lamb, or chickens to the plant. And we're going to get beef, pork, mutton, and poultry out as well as leather as a finished good. Now this will also add to the factory's build mode, a meat factory add-on with respect to being able to place your own meat factory anywhere on land that you own. So if you don't want to own that particular facility, if you want to put it up over here at your main starting farm, well, you will be free to do that because there is a placeable. Now let's go load up some cows and uh, take it down to the meat factory and see how this all works. So let me tell you this. Let's say you've got an idea. Now you've got the meat factory. You want to go start processing some cows, some chickens, some pigs, some sheep. So you run over to the animal dealer. You buy yourself up a load of animals and you bring them down here to start processing. Well, let me tell you this. Mr. Hector has a little surprise in store for you because you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. And it basically says, um, no, sorry, your animals are not healthy enough. They must have a health between 75 and 100%. Try again later. So. If you bring down animals that do have the proper health, you'll see a screen like this. It says I'm delivering six Angus cows. They're 18 months old. They have 100% health. I can decide how many I want to unload. I can see delivered quantity per animal, 625 kilograms of unprocessed beef. Total quantity delivered. So we're going to go ahead and drop in all six. 
just like that. Now our trailer is empty. And if we come check our production, you can see we now have 3,746 kilograms of unprocessed beef out of 50,000 kilograms. And that is now active. So we are now processing beef. Let's come around the front and uh, maybe speed up time a little bit and see how long it takes to get some product. It is now the next day. Let's go ahead and spawn some pallets out here. 1,000 liter pallets, so we'll spawn out eight. So there we go. Now we have our processed beef. And we can take our processed beef then down to the appropriate sell points. It's going to be the supermarket or transport company. $8,000 per thousand liters of beef. So $8,000 on easy economy for our processed beef. So guys, that is it. That is how you're going to add the meat factory add-on add -on mod from Mr. Hector into his Carpathian countryside map. There is a pre-placed factory down here at Farmland ID 37, or you could pre-place, or not sorry, pre-place, you could place your own wherever you should so wish. Be sure though, the animals you're bringing down here are healthy enough. Otherwise you're gonna to be told to come back another day. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the requirement that he could not add this particular facility to the mod hub map that it had to be added as an after effect with an add-on mod that you add yourself. We're gonna be adding some more Carpathian countryside PC version tutorials in the near future. So be sure to subscribe to the channel Tick that notification bell and go ahead and like the video while you're at it. That way you can be sure to get suggestions and recommendations on all future content. Till next time, happy farming.